Hi, Al here with a few uh, updates on uh, what's coming out in version 0.7.9 of my Google Meet Attendance extension. There are four issues that have been addressed in this release, all of them relating to the HTML reports. First and foremost, there was a logic issue that uh, causes a display problem if your meeting starts before 10 a.m. in the morning and ends after 10 a.m. Uh, things get wonky, and I'll show you an example of that in a moment. There's a, a similar problem or minor similar problem that happens if your meeting starts before midnight and ends after midnight. Uh, haven't seen anyone report that yet. Uh, I'll show you in a couple of moments that there's uh, I've added some uh, um, some better indications if there's oddities in the data. And last but not least, I've added a button at the bottom of the reports that allows you to take your old versions of the HTML files created in earlier versions of the extension and up the, update them to the latest version so that you can actually fix problems in your uh, in your if they're occurring in your um, files without having to get in touch with me. So, first and foremost, here's a meeting. The start time is 9.34, the end time is 10.28, but if you look at the top of the table, that isn't reflected properly. Big problem with the, uh, with the reports here. So, the last thing I said about I added in the, uh, pro in the uh, reports was this button that allows you to update your prior versions of the report. So if I click on this button, brings up a, a file open dialog and in this dialog I can click one file I can shift click I can control click so you can actually update multiple files at the same time but here it is here I want to take my sample file and correct it that saves a copy of the file to my downloads directory if I click on that now here is the updated version of the file with all of the table headings properly indicated and all of the users in the in now displayed um, but a number of them have red asterisks after them because there is something odd about those entries. And so in the first case here, Al Kahi appears more than once in the class list. And if I go back to my earlier version of the report, yeah, there's an Al Kahi here and there's another one there. That shouldn't happen. So now I just display one of them. Um, I've only seen this a couple times from one or two users, but every so often there's an odd entry in the arrival times database that does our variable that doesn't match someone in your class list. And so I check to see whether there's a unique match. And if there is, I will append that data or merge that data with that user rather than ignoring it altogether. And last but not least, on a couple of occasions, I've found that there's someone in the arrival times variable that doesn't exist in your class list. I don't know how that's occurring, but rather than not displaying, at least it's being shown now. Last but not least, uh, you can always get in touch with me via email by clicking on the questions or feedback button. I do ask that you check the Facebook page first and or the videos on my YouTube channel to, to see whether your issue has already been addressed. Otherwise, that's it in version 0 0.7.9. Thank you very much for your continued support and uh, stay safe. Look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.